Scales in terms of mapping are normally only relevant on printed maps. However, several of our products are named using a scale. Numbers like 1 to 250,000 and 1 to 25,000 are scales of map data and you may also come across terms such as small scale and large scale. What do these all mean? With numbered scales, the larger the number on the right, the smaller things will appear on the map. For example, the most detailed product that Ordnance Survey produces is captured at 1 to 1,250 scale, where features appear larger. And the least detailed products will be those at 1 to a million scale, where features appear smaller. As you can see, the scale with the largest number is the least detailed, and vice versa. Using these two products, we can also look at the phrases large scale and small scale. In large scale data, features on the map appear quite large. For example, you can see individual buildings and pavements and so on. In small scale data, features appear quite small, so the entire town of Helensborough is represented by a dot. One way to show the difference that scale makes is to compare a series of products at different scales. Each image shows what 8 centimetres on the map represents in the real world. So, at 1 to 1 million scale, 8 centimetres shows 80 kilometres. 1 to 250,000 scale shows 20 kilometres. 1 to 50,000 scale shows 4 kilometres. 1 to 25,000 scale shows 2 kilometres. 1 to 10,000 scale shows 800 metres. And 1 to 1,250 scale shows 100 metres. This also highlights that these products should be used for different purposes. So if you want to produce an overview map of a county, you'll need to use smaller scale data. However, a map of a housing estate would be better with large scale mapping, where features such as houses or roads can be seen clearly. To find out more, please visit our website.